Okay, today's topic will be the uh, SQL Server's temporary table and the table variables. Uh, I will try to give you guys some introduction to what is temporary table and what is table variables and uh, introduce some uh, tool you can use to evaluate uh, what is a good way to uh, using uh, table variable or uh, temporary tables. Okay. So <clears throat> first, the temporary table, we have two kinds of temporary table. One is a local temporary table and the other one is global temporary table. Okay, uh, if you guys have any question, uh, you can stop me anytime, you know, as a question, okay. <clears throat> so the local temporary table is, uh, when you create a temporary table, for example, install procedure, it will on a disk and uh, it's in temporary DB. This is a, a, a system uh, database in the SQL Server. It's a temporary uh, database. Okay. And uh, it's visible only to the current scope, like, uh, for example, like a store procedure. Okay, if you create a temporary table in a store procedure, then if the temporary table end finished, then the, the, the temporary table will gone. Okay, then there is another one called global temporary table. It's also on the disk, and it's also in a, a temporary DB database in the SQL Server. But it's visible for all sessions. So that means if you create a temporary table, then all of the user, all of the session can use this temporary table and they can see this temporary table. Okay. Then let's see the local temporary table. The syntax to create a local temporary table is uh, using create, just like you create a normal table. In a store procedure, you can just use this syntax to create a temporary table called people. Okay. Then another one, another uh, way to create a temporary table, you can, you don't have to use the create statement. You can directly use this statement to uh, directly create a temporary table with this schema, ID and name, and the data come from the employee. Okay, so you don't even have to have a create statement in a store procedure. You can directly use this one, and then you know directly create a temporary table in a store procedure. Then of course you can drop it, use the drop table syntax. Okay, but uh, uh, I read some article and uh, it says try not to use uh, this uh, this way to create a temporary table in a store procedure. Always use create table uh, syntax, use create table statement, then use the select, update, or insert, then to, to, to uh, put the data into a temporary table. The reason the article say is because uh, this statement, if you use this statement to create a temporary table, it will lock the employee's table until the temporary table is created. So it will use more resource uh, to, to, to create this table. Yep. Then actually the same thing for global uh, temporary table. Uh, the syntax is the same, then you, the only difference thing is you have to use a double pound sign to uh, create a global temporary table. That's all. The other stuff is all the same. Okay. Then the, actually the same thing for uh, local temporary table. I forgot to mention this. Uh, if you put, if you create a temporary table in a store procedure, then you don't have to drop the table at the end of of the store procedure. It will, after the store procedure finish, the temporary table will come. Okay, yeah, I, I think I mentioned this, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you don't have to drop the table. You can just leave it there, then the, the end of store procedure, you will, you will come. Okay, then the next one is the table variables. 
the table variable mm. variables is a, a little bit different from the uh, temporary table. When you create a table variable, it's in memory. It's not in a physical disk. Uh, it won't uh, occupy the uh, uh, hard drive space. Of course, if like uh, the the exception is uh, <coughs> if the memory you know do a page in page out. Okay, that's a different story. Then. The performance is slightly better than the local temporary table, uh, and it will automatically clear cleared when the procedure or function goes out of scope. Okay. Yes. Can you define a static table Sta variable? No. Uh, in the in the T SQL, the SQL Server T SQL, I don't think you can declare it as a static variable. <coughs> then uh, the different thing from the table variable and the temporary table, uh, they, this is uh, one of the different thing. In the user defined function, you only can allow the table <coughs> variable. You cannot create temporary table in the user defined function. Okay, so if you you want to create your own function, then you want to use the table variable, or you want to consider use table or anything, you know, you have to use a table variable. Okay. Okay, uh, table variables. So when you create table variables, uh, it will be in the memory, not on a disk. And uh, uh, the performance is a little bit better than local temporary table. But uh, most of time we will use the uh, local temporary table and I will explain uh, why um, later. Okay. Then the same thing you can it, it will automatically uh, you know clean cleared when the procedure or function goes out of scope. But uh, the thing is uh, the table variable you cannot you know, drop it. When you finish it, then you you you, you are not able to drop it or you know uh, make it go away. Okay. Then this is a syntax for a uh, table variable. Basically, in a TC call, you you want to declare a variable, you have to use declare, then you know use add, then variable name, then after that is a uh, data type. So for this variable, the data type is a table. Then you define the you know the color name. Okay, it's just like uh, you declare the other uh, variables. Okay, then there are some limitations for table variables. You know you cannot truncate, you cannot drop a table variable. Okay, and uh, the table variable you cannot it cannot be altered. Yes. More questions. Yes. Go ahead. Why would you want to drop the table variable? Uh, for sometimes you, what you want to do is you, when you finish to use it, you want to drop it to release the resource okay. in the store procedure. But I, if you clear it out though, it's not going to take that much resources. Right? That that's true. Yeah, you you can do that definitely. Yeah. You can you know say to no, yeah. then you know it will release the resource. Then the table table variable you can it cannot be altered. For example, you want to add a new column into a table variable, you are not allowed to do that. Okay. And uh, uh, if you want to create an index, then table variable you cannot create index on a table variable. And uh, uh, okay, the next uh, one is uh, you cannot drop a table variable when it is no longer necessary. And uh, there are some limitations for table variables, but I didn't, you know, include it in here. You can, if you guys uh, want to know more about this one, you can go online to search. There are a lot of, plenty of uh, uh, articles talk about table variables.